Yo, what's up? Keep it Nero here. In this video, I want to share with you guys a story that you'll find quite good. Um, it's a story about a wolf and a dog, right? So the story goes, a wolf was going over the highway in the evening. It was hungry and then he, uh, the wolf met a dog. The dog was fat and appeared half happy. And then they became friends. So the wolf made friendship with the dog. You are looking better, it appears. You are happy and enjoying. Your skin is so, so nice. You have been fed properly with vitamins, proteins and minerals, said the wolf to the dog. Dog said, look my friend, my life is simple. I watch my master's house. He feeds me daily four times. I have been given a small house where I sleep well. I don't have any difficulties. So the wolf said, then your life is good. I also, I also wish the same. But you see my plight, I am always hungry. You see my bones, I'm fed very little. I don't have vitamins and proteins in my food. Okay then, come with me. Live with me, you will also be happy. Luxury maketh a person, said, said the dog. The wolf agreed. Both of them reached the house where the dog lived. Both were happy. As the, dog, as the wolf entered the house, accidentally he saw the top of the dog's neck. So he saw the neck of the dog. He found no hair there. There were no hair. If at all there were hair, they were too short. Why, why there are no hairs on your neck? The wolf as, asked the dog. Oh, my dear friend. Why do you ask it? My, my master puts a belt on my neck. The belt rubs the neck while the belt is tied to a chain tight. My master pulls it and pushes me into the kennel, said the dog. What? Necktie and chain? The wolf thus said and didn't enter further. He was astonished to hear what the dog said. Friend, let me go back. I'm not jealous about you. You eat good food. But you are tied here. My bones are thin, true, but I'm free in my world. I can go anywhere I like. Thank you. I shall go back. Thus said the wolf, went back to his forest. This is really a very nice story, and it causes me to think about um, I don't know why, in, in any connection, there's no specific connection. But it causes me to think about uh, foreigners, you know, people who have traveled from their home countries and have gone to stay in foreign countries, you know. It is true, things seem to, be, to look good somehow, somewhere, but not really, you know. Even though people are able to make, you know, to make money, but they must work so much to get this money. And uh, in exchange, what happens to them, the things they have to endure is tremendous, really. You know, they, they, they have to endure being abused. They have to endure going through hardship, you know, because their situation is different. They are not like the people who were born in these countries, people who have houses and things like that, and better respect in the society. Sometimes you have gone to work, you work, you do your best, you're doing your job, but still, you know, things are like, it's not, it's not working out for you. Even if you're the best person at the workplace, when anything, anything happens, even if it's your fault, you know, you are the one to blame in most cases, you know. So it, it almost feels like the dog, right? You know. Yeah, it's true, he's getting good food, but he's in bondage, you know, he's in bondage, he's in bondage, he's in some kind of prison. The same thing here, foreigners in, in other countries, 
people like in bondage you know you spend all your your life working and actually this doesn't really apply only to foreigners it applies to almost 90 percent of the population of the world you know the work working class you spend how, how many days do you spend every week you spend about six five days working Every day that is about 10 hours preparing and coming back to work. Uh, then the whole year, if you are lucky, you get 30 days. You can't get more than 30 days if you are if you are, <laughs> if you if you are lucky. So you get only 30 days to go and spend you know time with your family. And when you do get the free time off work, you have so much to do that you know you don't really rest. And if the money is not enough, you know, you have a big family, the money is not enough, you don't have time to go for vacation or anything like that. So it's like bonding. I'm offering something here, something different here. I'm offering you the ability to be able to get time freedom. Just like the wolf, time freedom. But your situation is not going to be like the wolf. You're going to, to, to I'm going to show you how you can work and make money and still be wherever you want to be. And this is actually a perfect opportunity for foreigners who are like in camp.